Okay, uh, this is a quick little video uh, kind of tour of what your interactive notebook should look like. Spiral, hopefully, you're using. If not, uh, we're going to have the regular spiral and you can use graphing paper in addition to that. Composition book, uh, graphing will be okay, but a uh, spiral book n gives you a little bit more space and it needs you to have a spiral so it can hold your material. So, first thing we should see is the math about me. Then we should have our unit. Now, let's say if you went into your warm-up, because the next page is warm-up, that's fine. You can flip them. You're just going to make sure you put your tab on the title of the unit, and we're going to keep track of our entries here. I know those, the, let's see, let me just get this to focus a little better. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. Okay. And then, uh, after our warm-up, a couple pages, and our first entry would be our table, chapter one, basic ideas and geometry. We talked about you could put it as like this way, the best way you can see everything, but you can enter it into your page as such, or you can fold it, so you can open it up and read it that way. Sometimes we will have foldables that have to be entered in exactly like we are modeling it. So after our chapter 1.1 table, we should see this table here. Uh, I'm sorry, let me go down a little bit, which is the lines and can be in parallel, can be basically, basically this is our lines in parallel lines table. And we need to fold it like such so we can see the items on the back. So open to think of the other context, but also see the items on the back. And then our next entry is we had this color piece of paper with some examples. Uh, we need to tape or glue that in, leave some space on the bottom for us to add some additional notes if we need to. And then our next page here, postulates and theorems, we're going to fill this in. Uh, again, we want some space for some additional examples and practice. And then we're going to go into 1.2. So we're going to get into this today with the smart notebo uh, notebook. Uh, and there's already a video on Emoto uh, to help you fill in what you're going to go into. So notice that I have space underneath here. And we have a space for some more examples. You probably might need to do one or two pages. This is up to you, but just follow my model, see how it works. Then we're going to go into some homework and exercise problems. Then our next page would be 1-3, uh, measuring angles. Again, notice I have space at the bottom to add some stuff. And then we have our homework or our exercise, our practice problem for 1-3. And that would be the end of our spiral notebook so far. So hopefully this video helps you make sure you have it together. Um, this will be uploaded for your reference. And uh, we'll get everyone on track. We will be grading this. This will be a grade. It will be a grade at, uh, at the end of the unit when we take our test, which I believe is next Thursday. All right. Thanks, guys.